In this lesson video, we are going to look at Mathematics 1613. We are going to look at applications of Z substitution. We are going to focus on the specific function. Let us start. There is lesson 101 of Z substitution where we look at how to master and know the derivative how we derived these identities i will leave the link in the description below now we need to find the integral of this using z substitution we can see that our answer will be a definite answer it will be a certain value because you can see that we have boundaries here so for now we are just going to find the integral of this before we can substitute our boundaries so we can see that we have three substitution that we need to perform dx sine x and cos x so you can see that dx is equals to this now where we see dx we are going to substitute by that identity which is 2 divided by 1 plus z squared dz divided by 1 plus sine it's 2z over 1 plus z squared and then we have plus our cos it's 1 minus z squared over 1 plus z squared we need to find the sum of these two remember that when we have two fractions with common denominator we're simply going to take one denominator and then add the numerators the difference of two fractions x over 2 minus y over 2 simply going to take common denominator and then find the difference of the numerators so in this case you can see that we have common denominator so it will be 1 plus common denominator we're going to take one denominator and then we are going to add the numerators we need to add this again now any number add by one or the difference one of the terms will be one it's very simple so suppose you want to add one plus three over x quickly we need to express one in terms of this denominator so we know that any term divided by itself is equal to one so one is the same as x over x plus three x then since you can see that the denominators are common we take one denominator so you're going to have 3 plus x divided by x so this is what we are going to do here we're going to express 1 in terms of this denominator so 1 is the same as 1 plus z squared over 1 plus z squared plus 2z plus 1 minus z squared over 1 plus z squared dz one plus z squared all over we are going to take one denominator and then we are going to add the numerator so we have one plus z squared plus 2z plus 1 minus z squared all over 1 plus z squared 
dz. Then from here, let us simplify this numerator. We look at the like terms. We have a z squared minus z squared, it will be zero. And then we are left with one plus one uh, plus two z. So we are going to have two plus two z all over one plus z squared dz and then from here instead of two fractions dividing each other we are going to have two fractions multiply so in simple terms we are going to take this fraction and multiply to the numerator fraction Now multiplying this fraction instead of dividing, we are going to flip this denominator to the numerator and then numerator to denominator. So we are going to have 1 plus z squared all over 2 plus 2z dz. So this will result into 1. Then we are left with 2 over 1 multiplied by 1 over 2 plus 2z dz. We know that multiplying two fractions, we are just going to multiply numerator and numerator, denominator and denominator. So we are going to have 2 multiplied by 1 is 2, 2 multiplied by this term, it's simply 2 plus 2z dz. And then from there, we are going to factorize the denominator. You can see that we can factor out 2. So we have 1 plus z dz. Then this 2 will get rid of this. Actually, they will result into 1. So we are left with 1 over 1 plus z dz. There is a lesson video where we look at the derivatives of ln x. We know that the derivative of ln x with respect to x is equal to the derivative of x over x. So this will be 1 over x. The derivative of ln x plus 1, it will be equals to the derivative of this, which is 1 over the very same term you see inside the brackets, x plus 1. So it means the integral of this is equals to ln x plus 1. So going back to our question, the integral of this is equals to ln x, I mean not x, 1 plus z. When you put constant c. So this is the integral of our function. But remember we have boundaries. So the integral of pi over 2 to 0 dx over 1 plus sine x plus cos x is equal to ln. But before we do that, remember the last identity or the original identity says z is equal to tan x over 2. So from here where we see z we need to substitute by 
return x over 2 plus c. So this is the complete integral using z substitution. So now we need to plug in these boundaries, these values. So back to here, ln 1 plus tan, where we see x, we are going to substitute by this. So this is our x. So it's pi over 2 divided by 2. Close bracket. Minus ln 1 plus tan. For the second time, we are going to substitute by this. So it's 0 divided by 2. ln 1 plus tan. We know that this 2 is over 1. So when we multiply by this numerator, it will be pi over 2 multiplied by 1 over 2. So this is equal to pi over 4. So instead of tan pi over 2 divided by 2, we are going to write pi over 4 minus ln 1 plus tan 0 divided by 2 is simply 0. One plus tan pi over four is the same as tan forty five. Remember that pi is one eighty. So one eighty divided by four is forty five. So tan forty five is equals to one minus ln one plus tan zero is simply zero. So we have ln two minus ln 1 then you should know that ln 1 is the same as 0 so our final answer is ln 2 that's it for this lesson video this is Bahula HJ thank you very much